Okay, so that was just a call from... Like, I wish I could open them all. I wish. I do not have enough keys for that. I want medium. I want gloves. And there we go. Gloves. I know your face from my dream. Can't. What? For storage purposes and use it there. What? Oh. Huh. What? Where am I? I'm going right there. The answers lie hidden around you. I need to sell that before I can. Well, I got. Malt. I already got that. What do I got? Ooh, umber. What do I do with that? Sell a training post with all the others for not very much. Ooh, 29. I'll list it with that. We're gonna go collect our money. I love the little mystical dragons. They're so cool. I didn't get one though. Cause I'm lame. Okay, we're gonna fast track this puppy. Kitty, it's kitty. This, this, this kitty. Like, are they quitting? Are they like rage quitting there? Their guild. Is that why everything must go? I'm curious now. Speaking of guilds, one year, one year, four months, two months, two months, one year. Like, is there any way I can like petition to get custody of that guild? Anywho, way, let's get it going. Let's get it going, kitty, kitty, kitty. You don't care about video games. Oh, and that sound earlier that I heard, like, a, a big-sounding truck outside was not the water people. In case any one was super excited for me. Not them yet. Mordremoth has already claimed too many victims. Do you think the Pale Tree will recover? Our mother is resilient, but the Mordrum tore at her in ways we don't fully understand. We know it affected her mind. She fades in and out of awareness, but she said she was able to protect the dream <laughs> from the assault. But what cost to herself? There's actually a book out there that's called kitty hats and for like knitting and crochet actual hats like with little ear holes for your kitty should I do that for you? Yeah. ma'am is that yes or no? hey there I spoke with one of those Silvari and she said the pale tree could wake up at any time I'm glad you made it when you did Their promise, they've promised to let us know when she wakes she stayed in Camp Resolve to help prepare for the launch. Rocks and Bram too. 
Tammy said she's going back to school, but you never know with that child. That child. Are you excited to tell the pill tree what you know about the egg? I am. I am. Let's hope so. I can tell you want to find her as quickly as possible. You've been quiet. I guess I just don't understand why this egg is so important. How is an egg going to help us take down more Dramoth? The pack is about ready to leave without us. Well, yeah. It killed your sister twice. I have to ask you to trust me. Mordramoth is one battle in a greater war. And you're certain this egg will help us win the war. Okay, boss, I'm with you. Uh, someone's coming. Good news, hopefully. Friend, she's aware now, but we can never predict for how long. Follow me. Please. I smush your kitty face. I smush it. I smush it good. It's so dark up here now. Mother, I've brought the Pact Commander who asked to see you. Good. I was hoping to see you soon. The vision. Have you made any progress with it? I found the egg. Like, I'm just like talking like, yes. The egg. Let's let everybody hear. What a relief. You may have to you you may have just saved here yet the struggle is far from over if you had failed to find and protect the egg it would have been over before it began so about this this is kind of awkward but we found it and Kate has the egg in her custody we're trying to find her Kate has the egg why you you're the one who must care for it not Kate that's why I gave you the vision I know, but for some reason I don't understand she ran off with it. Oh, well, you must find her. I can help, but my power, my powers regarding this are limited. Maybe if you knew more about her past, I can give you memory seeds. They will allow you to search her memories for places that are significant to her. I'm please give Miri four memory seeds. They will reveal a slice of Kate's history to you. Among those memories, you will perhaps find something that will guide you to her. Let Ain explain to you. I am so tired. She has all the knowledge you need. Ain, I'm Ain. Ah, oh, see you later. Hope to see you around here again at some point. Let's see. Um. Use the first seed here in the grove where Kate's roots are. Ask me if you have any other questions about them. Oh, I need to go just... Nope. Oh, please, Traherne, don't tell me you're up here contemplating the words of a long-dead centaur. I know what you think of Ventari's tablet, but I find wisdom in it. Do you even consider other views? Filling the heads of this new crop with only one side doesn't seem responsible. Ventari's tenants will help them make something of themselves, my dear. All sentient beings feel that urge. Exactly. To make something of themselves not to live up to someone else's ideal of what they should be. Hear that? Hey, Hear that, Kitty? Can we talk for a moment? After the gathering today, we must corner Win and get her to tell us what she was talking to Mother about. 
You're obsessing again. You know how we night blooms are about our secrets. This is important, Kate. She knows something that could hold sway over all Silvari. That's not trivial. <laughs> you don't know that's true. You overheard a portion of a conversation out of context, no less. I know. Come on, we're going to be late for the gathering. Well, this is exciting. Suppose they want us gone. Don't be ridiculous. I tried again to talk to Kiara. Seriously, why don't you just leave her be? She doesn't Everyone want again. company. Over two years. That's how long the others were here all alone. Just the twelve. It explains why they're so intimate with one another. I wish I'd been one of them. The elders follow without thinking. This tablet, it's a farce. They cling to it because it tells them how to behave. But we, we have our own minds. We do not swallow whole the old philosophies. We are better than that. Can you meet tomorrow night to discuss the tablet? Midnight. Hmm. I'll be there. It'll be good to speak with others of a similar mind. Bird. Thank you all for coming. We're here to discuss our newly awakened and how we can best assist them. You say assist, but you mean mold. You want to make them all into your version of good little Silvari. No. As firstborn, it is our responsibility to care for and guide these secondborn. The newly awakened. Let's not call them the secondborn. Could benefit from our knowledge of Antari's tenants. Oh, please. Let's see, this is a waste of time. These newly awakened don't need to be coddled. We don't need anyone holding- We didn't need anyone holding our hands or indoctrinating us with unexplained philosophies. Maybe when is right, maybe we should. If we do anything, we should encourage them to think for themselves, depend on themselves. Besides, Wynn can't be trusted. She keeps secrets from us. Secrets! Are we like 12 year old girls? She keeps secrets. That's rude. If Wynne knows something of importance, she will tell us. But let's not change the subject, please. We're discussing the secondborn. Are we officially calling them secondborn? What are we calling them? That's a terrible name for them, Traherne. Unless we make official the chasm between us and them. We're all just Silvari. A waste of time, the newly awakened don't need to be coddled. It's fascinating how the new sprouts take in the world. I remember feeling and thinking as they do, perhaps they could do as well as we did. I don't understand how anyone can be indifferent to our own kind. We are so few and so fragile, trying too hard to be noble and good. We must rely on and support one another no matter what. She's not being indifferent, she simply believes in the freedom to choose. We all do, but what harm is there in teaching them which path is better? We know more. We've been there we've been here longer. It's like the whole I'm an adult, I've been through this. It's been several months now since the first new sprouts began to appear. They're awakening at an increasingly steady pace. If it doesn't stop soon. So many! 
I tried to find time to help each of the new sprouts interpret their dreams, but it's becoming difficult with so many awakening. I fear some will go astray and misinterpret their wild hunts. That's a thing? We went so long without losing one of our own, but first, Rianak, and now three of our newly awakened have been killed. This is unacceptable. I worry about the others. What if they never return? Which they might not. I believe these new sprouts can be leveraged to improve life in the grove. We are not safe until we take our own defense seriously. We need wardens to guard us. I feel called to make our home safe. I plan to organize a protective force for us and I'll ask the sprouts to volunteer for it. You do that? As for me, my wild hunt will likely take me away from here. Last I heard, the exact nature of your wild hunt was still mysterious. Have you had insight into what you're being called to do? Not exactly, but it's got something to do with dragons. Dragons are so cool. This is so weird. Everybody naked! Knowledge is central to happiness and long life. We have experienced more of the world than these newly awakened. They endanger themselves without realizing it. Kate, I'm aware of no creature in this world that doesn't define its defend its young from predators. Perhaps it's not always successful, but often to the point of their own death. I'm thinking, wait, are we creatures? We're trees. We're trees, people. Trees, trees. Here I can't, under my hand. I'm a thinking, feeling being, as are you. There's never been a race like ours. We're unique, undoubtedly formed to do great things, but we're also vulnerable. The ability to think is the prelude to free will. We are young and there are many dangers out there. If we don't all work together, one strong enemy or illness could wipe us out completely. What a horror if our race ceased to exist. That would be bad. Keep that thought close to your heart, Kate. It will guide you all your life to do the right thing by our people. Really? Are we sure? Are we sure about this? Mm. So much talking, maybe I'll just need to be. Don't look at me that way, Wynn. You know I'm right. Whatever your secret is, I'll dig it out. I have no secret. You know everything I know. Don't lie to me. I heard you whispering to Mother. I heard you say there was something that could give unspeakable power over all Sylvara. What were you talking about? I have to go. I'm traveling to a centaur refuge in the Silver Waste to research Ventari. We'll talk later, Fallon. I know what it is. I know what her secret is. Elders, I bring grave news. Please, listen. Talk naked, man. He's a scout and they didn't give him, like, clothes. Take a deep breath, Sandry. What's your hurry? Small earplay creatures. We just wanted to explore beyond Mother's roots. They appeared out of nowhere. Asura, I guess. Malamedes had an encounter with them not long ago. He was lucky to survive. Where did they go? They took them northwest into the forest. What can we do? I followed happened? them a while, but then I felt I should come get help. They said something about returning to Metrica before I lost their trail. Kaith, Fowlin, you two had the most experience in the wild. Would you scout ahead? The second born are precious. We cannot allow them to be killed to assage some ignorant race's curiosity. At last, something we agree on, Trahan. I can't wait to teach these imps a lesson. You and me, together, we'll rescue as many as we can. They treated Malamedes terribly. I hope they're not so harsh with this group. They're going to remember the day they met the two of us. She crazy. She crazy. It was Kate in my race's early years. I saw Fallon and Traherne. 
The leader of the Nightmare Court. It must have been fascinating to hear how they interacted back then. I'm jealous. But did you learn anything that will help us find Cave? To see, to see them so young, it was incredible. They went to Metrica. Metrica Providence? That area is popular with Azira. Populated. Why are they going there? They were tracking some imps that had kidnapped a group of secondborn. Imps? Alright, Rox is expecting me for a sword practice. I'd better let her know I won't be there. I won't take long. She's surprisingly good, though she says she isn't. It isn't her weapon of choice. She learned when she was in school and she knows a ton about battle stances. I'm learning a lot. I plan to keep at it. That put me into an adventurous mood. That was a new one. I've never heard that before. That put me in an adventurous mood. And yet the grove seem, still seems so samey. Except everybody has clothes on, they ain't all naked. Naked, naked plant people. over. Merp. Okay. Do, 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 do. Twitch, why are you saying my stream's offline? We're not offline. You crazy. so pretty. I like that. That was a good look. I don't think it says anywhere their actual level. And you can't even do the whole- oh well they look like they're not wearing very high level stuff because you can make it look like you're wearing the stuff that you wore level one. How far am I going? Really far. Let's just do that. This is the place. It's run by inquest. You'll have to be careful. I'll watch your back while you're in the vision. So the memory sees, I do. Let's look around. Front doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, I was going the right way. No longer the right way. Okay. Oh, I guess they were sneakins. Right. We need to go in stealthily and see if we can take them by surprise. There are too many of them to attack head on. Hold up a second. Why are you so interested in Carrion and his dissenters? It's simple, really. From the moment we awakened, our mother has molded us into this idealized version of nobility. She doesn't see or care who we are, so long as we match her ideal of us. I felt it too. The pressure to be perfect. Yes. And the pain that comes with failing to live up to her expectations. Why can't she love us unconditionally? She claims to believe that all weeds and blossoms are equal, yet she tries to make us all into blossoms. I love you, just as you are. We belong together. Come on, my darling, let's go rescue our sprouts. Put your hand on my arm. But if your way fails, we do it my way. Stay close. Gonna say. Wait, there's a guard ahead. Take it out from behind. hearing things. Great. Now we can get that gate open. Lovely. That imp didn't see a thing, because we took it down first. Now we can get in. Back to work. Breaks over. If I do that. Oh, I think I'm supposed to slowly knock them out as I go through. Okay.
jerky. Those constructs look like they could detect us if we get too close. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, like that guy. I don't know how far he comes, so let's turn over this way. Thing is farther away. Per security protocol 988C. Oh, dang damn it. Oh, so I should do one, then run over, do the other. Okay. Suppose they're doing to them bad things. Let me see if I can figure out this console. This no, do you see bodies everywhere? What's taking you so long? Almost got it. They're killing them. We have to go now. No, it's bones. I can't open it from here. There are two more panels that control this door. They must kill every last one of these monsters. We can't go charging in. Our best bet is to sneak in and take them by surprise. Yeah, Gary's. Finally, the console's working. I swear, sneeze on that thing and it breaks. Tag Nabbit. My tests on the leaf patterns around the central body produce fascinating results. Nab it. Back to work. Okay, good. Someone's, I think I might be. Yep, unexpected sound registered. Investigating log query answered. Unexpected sound was door panel activation. Deactivating per security protocol 988C. Registering unexpected noise. Investigating log. 
natural malfunction. Register an unexpected noise. Did I take one out? No. No. <clears throat> My goodness. I can get one. Okay, I'm gonna go on a quick break and I'm gonna look up how to do this. So I'll be back. See you in a little bit. 